This is Dave Russo, your host for the Wicked Funny Comedy Tour, arriving in style at the world-famous Kowloon Route 1 Saugus. Uh, I am here with uh, one of our Magnus girls right here, Christine. Right here, the beautiful Christine. And we also have a special guest tonight, uh, Miss Nightlife uh, Cassie. Miss Nightlife on Dirty Water TV uh, 2010. Uh, I say we hop in, ladies. Come on, I'll get you, uh, I'll get you gals a uh, Magnus, all right? Thank you, mate, to your lips. Right. Well, she, she's gonna be taller than me when I'm on stage. <laughs> Hook it up. All right, you know what? I gotta go do one thing real quick. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go park a limo. I'll be, I'll be back in a second. I'll see you in a second. Hey, this is comedian Dave Russo on this edition of the Wicked Funny Comedy Tour, sponsored by Magner's Irish Cider. We hit the world's famous Kowloon Comedy Stage. Appearing tonight, we have the very funny Paul D'Angelo. I'm in the mall the other day. It's really crowded. I walked right into a guy wearing a camouflage shirt and camouflage pants. He goes, hey, watch where you're going. I said, who said that? <laughs> And best damn sports show veteran, Mr. Paul Nardizzi. It's tough to drink with kids, you know, they ask a million questions. Why'd you fall asleep with their head in the fireplace last night? <laughs> the hilarious, no holds barred, sarcastic wit of Miss Patty Ross. We have every single present bought, wrapped, tagged on the top shelf of a closet by April 1st of the previous year. And we bought it on clearance sale. <laughs> and we love to come to your house on Christmas Day and go, here, open it. Do you like it? I pay two dollars for it. Stand by and be prepared to laugh as the Wicked Funny Comedy Tour, sponsored by Magnus Irish Cider, is next. I love that dirty water TV. And I love that dirty water TV. And we love that dirty water. Dirty water. Host Dave Russo, this is the Wicked Funny Comedy Tour. Lust after Dirty Water TV. And I love Dirty Water TV, mostly because I'm on it right now. I love that Dirty Water TV. It's filthy. Give it up for Dave Russo. Funny man Dave Russo has quickly become one of the country's most versatile and sought-after comics. His high-energy act showcases his quick wit. 45 years of marriage. Imagine being married for 45 years, sir. Holy smoke. <laughs> Must would seem like the car payment that never ended, huh? <laughs> Artful storytelling. I had to bring my parents in the grand opening of Hooters. And I, was, I walk in and he's like, sir, would you like a beer? I was like, you know, I kind of got a strange craving for a glass of milk. <laughs> Dave is headlined in Vegas and performed at some of the best comedy clubs in New York and L.A. After winning the Boston International Comedy Festival's Best New Comic Award, Dave received national attention, beating out over 5,000 entertainers, winning a spot on the E! Entertainment Network series, The Entertainer, starring Mr. Las Vegas, Wayne Newton. Round of applause, Mr. Dave Russo! Dave has appeared on Comedy Central, NBC's The Today Show, The Phantom Gourmet, and was selected by the producer of NBC's Last Comic Standing to perform on Nessun's Comedy All-Stars. Nice. I, I got makeup on me right now, which is kind of makeup. Yeah, I, don't, I, I feel pretty. <laughs> Dave also proudly performs for the troops, appearing regularly with the USO. Dave Russo has worked with comic heavyweights Lenny Clark, Dave Chappelle, Louis Black, and Stephen Wright. Sit back and get ready to laugh as Magner's Irish Cider presents the Dirty Water TV Wicked Funny Comedy Tour. Here's your host, Dave Russo. It's great, it's great. Uh, if you don't know anything about the Wicked Funny Comedy Tour, the whole goal, the fact of the matter is, is that we are going to the best comedy venues in Boston, bringing you the best comedians in Boston. This is our third episode, and we're taping it right here at the Kowloon, sponsored by Magnus Irish Cider. I don't know if you saw uh, the limo outside. Anyone see the limo outside? Did anyone see the limo? I just found, yeah, uh, not bad, right? Check this out. Uh, I didn't even know this. Uh, I have to thank Dirty Water TV and Magnus Irish Cider. I actually just found out I have a limo waiting for me outside after the show, which is, yeah, I'm, I'm the driver. <laughs> I 
I can't think of a better way to kick off um, uh, this edition of the Wicked Funny Comedy Tour, sponsored by Magnus Irish Cider. Uh, this gentleman was actually voted Best of Boston uh, two years in, in a row in Boston Magazine. Actually, this January 2011, he has a Showtime movie coming out. Uh, he's one of the best in the biz, one of my favorites. How about a nice round of applause, Mr. Paul D'Angelo, everybody. Paul D'Angelo! <laughs> I love it here at the Kowloon. Last time I saw a ceiling like this, I was at my mother's house going, I can't find the Christmas lights. Where are my baseball cards? I had baseball cards up here. They're worth a lot of money. See this pipe here? You think it's a sprinkler system? It's not. This is where they get the duck sauce. There's a guy downstairs going, duck sauce, hot sauce, sweet sauce, soy sauce, hot sauce, duck sauce. You have a Showtime special. Could you just mention what that is? The right movie now? called The Godfather's a Comedy. Five Italian-American comedians. Uh, Frank Santorelli, also from Boston. Well, Frank's a friend. They're all friends. Five guys. Been doing comedy 20 years, and we all got together, filmed in Chicago. The director uh, did all the George Collins specials, Rocco Abyssi, and it's, uh, it's a really good show. It's going to be out in January. I'm thrilled because I just got the girlfriend a birthday gift. It's a lot of pressure. See, ask any man in here, the most pressure a man can be under to buy a gift is to buy a birthday gift or a Christmas present for the wife or girlfriend. Do you know why? Because even though it might make the most sense, even though it might be the most practical thing you could do, the one thing you can never get the wife or girlfriend for a Christmas or birthday gift is a gift certificate. Why? Because we've been told over and over again it takes no thought to get a gift certificate. It actually takes more thought than you can imagine. So the next time your wife yells at you and says, I can't believe you got me a gift certificate for my birthday. This took absolutely no thought whatsoever. Your answer should be you have no idea how much thought went into getting you this gift certificate. First, I thought about buying you a gift, but I didn't know what to get you. So I thought... <laughs> And I thought, and I thought some more. But I still couldn't think of anything you really needed. Then I thought about going to the mall and looking around. Then I thought about wandering around aimlessly for hours and hours and still having no idea what the hell you could possibly want. Then I thought about getting frustrated and spend a lot of money to buy something you're probably not going to even like anyway. Then I thought about you complaining, go, what'd you get this for? This is stupid. I hate it. What the hell were you thinking? Then I thought about muttering under my breath when maybe next year I won't get you <laughs> I thought about that starting a big fight. Then I thought about the fight leaning towards breaking up. Then I thought about you getting bitter and taking your car key and dragging it across the side of my brand new car. Then I thought about having to get a restraining order against you. Then I thought about you asking for divorce and trying to get half my stuff. Then I thought for just a second about killing you and burying you in the backyard. But then suddenly my thoughts turned to the possibility that I could be single again. Then I thought that maybe I could meet a pretty young girl with big boobs and a trust fund who would appreciate all the things I do and doesn't give me crap like some other people I know. But then I snapped out of it and said, you know, on second thought, I think I'll get her a gift certificate. Does that make sense? Did you ever worry about what you ate when you were a kid? You worry now. Why? Why? What, did, when you were a kid, did anybody, did your mother ever give you a brownie? Did you ever go, I don't know, is it low fat? How many calories are in this? I'm not too sure. Why do you worry now? I'll tell you why. Because people who call themselves health food experts, they make you feel guilty. Put that down. Don't eat that. That's no good for you. I got news for you. The same people who are telling you what to eat now, in the 80s, were doing lines of coke off a toilet seat. <laughs> now they're going, don't eat the bacon. Kiss my ass. Listen. <laughs> they just don't want to see you enjoying yourself while they're eating a rice cake that's shaped like a turkey for Thanksgiving dinner. That's why they do. I'll be eating a nice meal. Some guy will go, what are you eating? Who the hell are you? I'm concerned about the food you're eating. I got a nice meal here. What's wrong with this? Steak and milk. Is that 1% milk? As a matter of fact, this is 110% milk. Got chunks of cow right in it. What do you care? <laughs> when are you going to stop eating red meat? I'll stop eating red meat when they stop making cows out of prime rib, you idiot. How about that? <laughs> he said, are you getting enough aerobic exercise? Are you running, jogging, treadmills, stairmaster? I said, no, I can't. What do you mean you can't? There's no excuse. I got a bad knee. It's an old football injury. He said, you played football? I said, no, I tripped over hibachi in Foxborough. <laughs> What the hell are you eating, Mr. Know-it-all? You seem to have all the answers. Very condescending. I'll have you know. I order the steamed fish with the steamed rice and a side of steamed vegetables. Steamed broccoli and steamed cauliflower. I said, oh my God, that's a lot of steam. If you fight, you're going to dry clean your pants. <laughs> Since you're getting the age, you've got to check yourself. Check for what? Lumps or bumps? Why? They could be tumors or polyps or cysts. Oh my. <laughs> Anything else? A freckle or mole? Anything changes you don't catch it right away, you're a goner. Well, thanks for telling me that. I'm so paranoid, I think of a new disease every morning when I wake up. Half asleep, I look in the mirror. 
Is that a zit, a mosquito bite, or a baby tumor on my neck? What the hell? That freckle was not there yesterday. That's a piece of lint. Okay, I'm all right, I'm all right. <sighs> Tightness in my chest, that's a sign of a heart attack. <gasps> no, T-shirt, left in the dryer too long. Okay, I'm all right. My arm is numb, I can't feel my hand, I'm having a stroke. I know, I slept on it wrong. Okay, that's coming back, all right. Oh my God, I have a headache, it's a brain tumor. I know it's a brain, no, the damn Browns. How do you lose to the Browns? You gotta be <laughs> I gotta pee again, is it the prostate or the five beers I had at the Kowloon? What the hell? Oh my God, I feel a lump. I'm a dead man, I, nope, it's my car keys. I'm all right. <laughs> it sucks getting old. You turn 50, they go, happy birthday, stick a camera up your ass. <laughs> Hey, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining up till tonight. That was my only TV credit. <laughs> it's horrible. They give you the stuff the night before. It's supposed to clean out your system. Clean out your system. I saw a sloppy Joe from junior high school. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm on the operating table. I was so embarrassed. There's like four doctors and four nurses milling around. My backside's out in the breeze. The guy says, you can watch the procedure on the monitor. I said, I thought that was a scene from Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> I go, listen, this is the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Can you put me under or something? I can't imagine this could possibly get any worse. That's when the nurse looked at me and went, oh my God, my husband and I just saw your show at the Kowloon. <laughs> I'm going, did you try the chicken wings? They go, go, out! <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks so much. Thank you. Up next on the Wicked Funny Comedy Tour, sponsored by Magnus Irish Cider, I'll introduce you to the very funny Mr. Paul Nardizzi. Gas pedal stuck. I'm like the Toyota, so I'm driving. I couldn't stop. I yell at the windows from Toyota. Guy. How do I stop in this thing? He said, hit something, you idiot. So I call up my mother-in-law. I said, you all front by any chance right now? That's when Dirty Water TV from the Kowloon returns.